Here's your daily dose of nostalgia, guys. This album, Country Grammar by Nelly, classic album. It is 18 years old today. That makes me feel really old. I remember walking around listening to this album. I had a Walkman, you put the CD in it, and then you had your big old headphones. That's how I rocked out to this album when I was uh, eight years old. Anyway, guys, full day of eating. Let's get to it. So this right here is the secret seasoning, guys. It is called tahin. It is a Hispanic seasoning. You put this on your avocado toast, it takes it to the next level. It takes this toast from being natty toast to unnatty. It is so good. You can put a little bit on the eggs too. Why not? I love this stuff. So look at how good this breakfast looks, guys. Delicious. Normally I don't make meals like this, but I'm doing it for you. A special full day of eating. You better make it look like you make these awesome foods all the time. Because when I'm not filming, let's be honest, I would have already ate this by now. I got two cups of egg whites, two slices of toast, 80 grams of avocado. I've got two bananas right here. We're getting ready to go to the gym, so I'm going to have a little bit more carbs. And then 300 grams of sweet potatoes. And this is a tip I want to tell you guys, from my home to yours, it's awesome. I love sweet potatoes, right? But they always take forever to cook in the oven. So what I have been doing is throwing them in the crock pot, wrapping them in foil. You buy these big bags at Walmart. You set it on high for like four hours and you come back to delicious sweet potatoes. Here are the ones that I made earlier in the week. So you got the foil, the potatoes are all cooked. And then what I do, because I'm a good dog dad, is I save the skins of the sweet potato and I give them to Bo. Hey dude, look at that. Even he is eating healthy. So last night, guys, Oklahoma voted for the use of medicinal marijuana. Now that really won't affect me at all, but I was thinking about it. Like, for I know you're watching this, you might live in like New York or California or Florida. You might think differently of us oaky people. We're simple folk. All we do is sit around and raise cattle and mow the yard or something, I don't know. But hey, last night I was like, whoa, Oklahoma. 30th state at least we weren't last because usually we're last to get everything we just got poke here you know where you put sushi in a bowl we just got that so um, I was proud of the state for doing that and uh, my opinion doesn't affect me at all if it keeps people out of jail for petty crimes and it doesn't ruin someone's life and people can use it medicinally for a benefit I see no harm I see no harm at all but it's weird to me it's like I can go to Colorado and literally buy it in a store but if I had it here, I'd go to jail. To me, it's just so confusing. I think it should just be like, for the United States, it should be this way or that way. It shouldn't be like, this state, you can do this, but this state, if you drive 20 miles this way, you can't do that and you can get arrested and ruin your life. It's just like, what in the world? That's so confusing. But yeah, Oklahoma, we're moving on up, guys. Shout out, Oklahoma. So lately what I'm doing is I'm trying to limit my caffeine intake. So for today's workout, I'm gonna have no caffeine. I'm just gonna have this again, two scoops of this PE Science High Volume. I showed it last video and my hamstrings are so sore. If you watched the last video, change the training split to where on my pull days I'm isolating hamstrings first and there's nothing worse than, than sore hamstrings, guys. So we just wrapped up the workout, guys. I've got myself a chipotle bowl, double white rice, steak. You got double hot sauce, major key at chipotle, with some corn and lettuce. And this was free. It has macros, but it didn't cost me a dollar. Shout out to Anselmo, who goes to the gym, who is also a subscriber, who also works at chipotle for the free 
delicious meal. I'm gonna eat this, and then who knows what I will eat next. Find out in the next clip, guys. It's a few hours later in the day, guys. I've got my snack right here. It's two servings of pretzel crisps, two servings of low-fat cottage cheese, 150 grams of blackberries, and one Granny Smith apple, which in my opinion is the best apple because it is sour. And one thing I'm trying to do with my diet, right? I'm cutting, I'm down 10 pounds, is I'm trying to pick more nutrient-dense foods. I'm trying to get in more fruits and vegetables. I'm trying to make the smarter selection, and I don't wanna say I'm following clean eating. It's just something I'm subconsciously thinking about because think about it, when you're bulking, you got a lot more calories to fit in in a day therefore you got a lot more calories to hit your macros and your micros but when you're cutting calories come down a bit less calories a day to hit your recommended vitamins your macros and, and micros and all that stuff so I'm just trying to think about that in my head while I'm making these food choices when I'm at Walmart or whatnot I'm just trying to say hey let's try to clean the diet up a bit so it is now 10 at night. What I'm gonna show you guys how to do is make a delicious protein fluff recipe. So what I've got in here is like a cup of frozen strawberries, a little bit of almond milk. We're gonna blend this up. Once that is blended up, I've got this stand mixer here. This is really, really convenient. You're gonna add um, all this mix into the bowl. And then from here, what I've got is I got some pasteurized egg whites. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons or so there. You've got your xanthan gum. Honestly, this is totally optional, but you know, throw a little bit in there. And then you're gonna add in two scoops of casein protein. I've got the optimum kind right here, just because this is what I had laying around the house. Now watch what this looks like when I'm done blending it up. It's gonna be sick, check it out. Wait, how does this thing work? There we go. Look at the fluff. Can you guys see how fluffy that is? That is insane. And this is why they call it protein fluff. This is a huge bowl of fluff. So in addition to this big bowl of fluff, I've got three rice cakes, three tablespoons of peanut butter. I'm going to go to bed very full. The macros for the day are as follows. 2,858 calories, 69 grams of fat, 363 grams of carbs. I had a lot of fiber. Sweet potatoes actually have a lot of fiber, believe it or not. Uh, and then I've got 213 grams of protein. So about 2,800 calories, 2,900 calories is what I'm shooting for a day. Now when I was bulking, I was probably up to like 3,600. And I feel like my maintenance is like at 3,300, 3,200 around there. So this is nice. This is slow and steady and things are going just great. So that's it for the video, guys. I wasn't lying when I told you I'm back. I'm posting more videos. And fast back, guys, I bought this for Paige for her birthday. And I think I've used it more than her. You guys ever have stuff like that, guys? Like when your girl's like, I really want this, I'll use it all the time. And then you buy it and they never use it. <laughs> but you know what, it's life. But uh, that's it for the video, guys. Give the video a like if you enjoyed. And I will talk to you guys next time.